We live in a world full of ignorant people where ignorant people just don't understand what we see and we're considered the idiots, the assholes or whatever comes in mind when really it reflects back to the ignorant people. So uh, let's get on into that topic. It's like, you gotta be ignorant in order to deal with things better. What I mean by that is, when you're awoken like me, you know, you see for what everything is and you just see what a hell and shithole everything is, it's just hard to function. It's more harder to function. And I admit for me, it's harder to function. But when you're an ignorant person, when you know you're stupid in a way, when you don't see for what it is, you're blind, you feel like you could do things without questioning because you don't have the common sense to question things you just see one pattern we see the whole pattern we see everything clearly while the other people the ignorant people don't so this is why sometimes it feels like for them it's like a walk in the park like a, you know it's like just a regular stroll in the park like it's nothing where us it feels like pins and needles you know it feels like it's just there's no light at the end of the tunnel for us it feels like the tunnel just goes on for miles and miles and miles while ignorant people go right in the tunnel and make it right to the other side just like that like it wasn't even a challenge see like for example we question to ourselves how do people do this how do people just accept the way life is and honestly that answer to that question is they're ignorant they don't see for what it is they're not aware like we are when you're self-aware you see for how it is and you question for the people that are not that aren't aware how the hell do they do it you know they just think this is normal this is just how life is i mean this is how life is but they don't see anything wrong with it if anything by us saying something about it saying that this something's just not right they'll say to you right there you're being negative this is life man get your head out of your ass you know shit like that well, meanwhile, that's the thing. Our heads are out of our ass. They're the ones that got their heads stuck in their ass. They don't see it. If my head was in my ass, then that means I wouldn't see for what this all is. Because my head's stuck in my ass. But that's the thing. My head's not in my ass. Maybe sometimes, maybe I wish my head was in my ass. This is why it's just not even and it'll never be even. Because what we think, they don't think. And how they feel, we don't feel, if that makes any type of sense. You know, to them, it's just like a, a walk in the park, like it's nothing. They go to college four years, already graduated like it was nothing. Or they get up every day and do the same sheep cycle over and over and over. See, we we have the intelligence and the awareness to say to ourselves, how how do people do this? You know, like, like, like I don't know how I can do that. It's just hard doing this every day. I got to be stuck in traffic. Like, we, we see the depression. We, we see what's that it's so depressing the cycle that we live that's what i'm trying to say we see how depressing the cycle is while the ignorant people don't see it that's the difference between the aware and the not so aware or not at all aware we see that something is so off with life it's just literally right there it's like I, the truth is how don't we see it but that's the thing because people are stupid ignorant stupid same shit you know they only see one pattern. It's like we're both programmed different ways. We were programmed to see for what it is. While they were programmed not to see for what it is. Or how else I like to say it is, they forgot to program us. Where they program in every individual, but somehow they accidentally skipped us. You know, they forgot about programming us. We, we slipped by somehow. 
You know, it's almost like that movie Johnny Five, if anyone's familiar with that robot, where, you know, they're all just regular robots. But once Johnny Five got struck by lightning, it's like it just awoken him. He became self-aware. He became like, you know, a human in a machine, you know. And then when they found out he was self-aware, when they found out he wasn't just a machine, that he was more than that, he had emotions and shit like that, they wanted to destroy him. It's like the same thing. We're self-aware. The ignorant people try to belittle us. It's almost it all. It's almost the same, you know, example. We see for what it is. We see outside the box. The ignorant people can't stand us, but we can't stand the ignorant people. They can't stand the awoken people, and the awoken people can't stand them. At least I can't stand them, and I'm sure everyone else here could relate. I would. I would assume, you know. <laughs> That's why you have a ro awoken sheep's and blind sheeps. The blind sheeps are the ignorant sheeps. They don't see anything wrong with this. They just do it. And if anyone talks different, they will say to that person, you're lazy, you're this, get your head out of your ass, shit like that. Meanwhile, our heads are already out of our damn ass. Yours is in your ass. And that's what I feel like saying to them assholes. Because that's just how it is. We're awoken, we see for what everything is while they just see one pattern. That's the thing. It's just, Now the awoken sheeps still unfortunately do what normal actual ignorant sheeps would do, but the only difference is they see for what it is. You know, they have no choice, they gotta do it, but they see it's all fucked up, they see it's all, you know, corruption. We see the picture clearly, but of course we're still participating because we have no choice. While you get the ignorant people that just participate because they just, they don't see anything wrong with it. Either way, a lot of us are participating with it because we have no choice. Only thing we're aware about it, that's the only difference. While the other ignorant people are unaware. It's just crazy what we're brought into. And then you have a kid, and like I always say, I just have no respect for people that have kids today. You know? Anyone that's thinking about wanting to have a kid today, I just have no respect for. I'm not saying I hate you. It's not saying I want to kill you or do anything like that. But I just really have no consideration or respect for people that do that today. No, but that's the thing. People are so ignorant, they don't see anything wrong with it. When you're just so stupid, you just don't see anything wrong. But then you got some people that see for what it is. And I say this all the time, and they still fucking do it. Those people I actually get more mad at because they actually see for what a piece of shit world it is and they still go through with it. But either way, it, it, they both both ignorant and aware get me angry in that way because either way, we're committing that dilemma. That, that uh, what's the word I'm trying to use? Uh, you know, we're, we're making that mistake. Let's just put it to that. We're making that mistake. We're making that big boo-boo. But the real, real question lies on which is honestly better at this point, being ignorant or being awoken? I mean, I'm glad I'm awoken, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it sucks because you see for what it all is and you just can't unsee it. It's like life feels easier if you're, you know, <laughs> in other words for dumb, ignorant. <laughs> you know, it's like, there's things we would try and do and we say to ourselves, man, this is a fucking pain in the ass. At least this is me. This is my opinion, I'm saying. And then you get these ignorant people that just do it. No no issue. It's like, what the hell? It's just you got to be so dumb to function in today's life. That's how I really look at it as. The dumber you are, the more stupid you are and naive. I feel like you have an easier chance to make it in this life. That's the honest truth. That's just how I feel. Well, us awoken people, we see for what it all is, and it's just a living challenge. At least for me, it is. I, I, I admit it. You know, I have nothing to hide. I admit it. You know? When you see what the whole picture is, it's just it's hard to process all this shit. See, they're not processing anything, and that's why they're accomplishing it like it's nothing. Because there's nothing they're processing. They're just programmed on one task, and they're just following orders, and they do it like it's nothing. We see everything wrong. We see the whole globe, you know? We see the whole perimeter, whatever you want to call it. And that's why it just feels hard, at least for me. Just frankly, me speaking, you know. 
Like you just gotta be an asshole, a dick in today's life to, to cope. But the thing is, I can't be that because I'm not naturally that. I'm not an ass, you know, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I'm not ignorant. I'm not, you know, one of those people that just think I know everything and act like I know everything, whether I do or don't. I admit there's things I may know and there's things I may not know. But what I truly know is where we are is a complete prison. And that's just something I know straight out of the box. That sadly a lot of people don't because they're ignorant. <laughs> You know, I can't pretend, I mean, you know, I could pretend and smile, eee, eee, this is a beautiful life, but really, I know deep down it's not a beautiful life. I can try and act it, but deep down, what is that doing for me? I don't, I, I'm just acting it. I see for what it is, and that's the part that sucks. I can't unsee it. I say this so many times, you just can't unsee what you see. You know, certain things that happen to us, we can't unsee it. We got to try and learn to go on. We got to try and learn to cope. And, you know, it's a, it's a battle. There's a lot of things that happen to us where we got to try and learn to move on. And some of us do, but doesn't mean it's easy. But that's the thing. When you're ignorant, you just, it's like a no challenge because you don't really see that image. You don't really see any image. So therefore, it's just literally a piece of cake. It's literally just one, two, three, like nothing for them people. But when you see all the negative shit around you and just basically the world that you live in is just complete dark, it's just hard to keep your head above water. You know, that's just at least how I feel. Now, with this saying, I'm not saying I'm a de depressed individual and I'm not trying to make anyone else here feel that way, but I'm just, you know, what I'm trying to say is, I see for what it all is, and I'm trying to make the best of it as best as possible. That's all I can do. That's all we can all do. That's that's all us awoken people can only try and do, you know? But when you're ignorant, you just don't see any of this. It just doesn't compute to the person. So it's already a no challenge. And then they think it's easy for you to just snap out of it. You know? It's like vice versa. We, we question how the hell do they do it, and they question how the hell do they feel this certain way. We're both different. We have common sense while sadly they don't. And it's just sometimes common sense gets you better in life, it seems. Not saying all the time, but you know. You got so many people in this world that think they know what they're saying when they don't even know anything they're saying. You know. Whether they know or don't know, to them they always know. They're always right, even if they're wrong. You know, you can't argue with certain people. You could say this, you could say that, but it's not going to get through that person's head. To that, to his, it's not going to stick through a skull or however the saying is. <laughs> so it's like me, I have the common sense to know not to argue with those type of people. Because it ain't going to get anywhere. Even if I'm right, to him, even though he's wrong, he's always right. I'm wrong when really I'm right. So it's really not going to get anywhere for me. So I know, I have the common sense, you know, we have the intelligence to know that... That's just a person you just just yes them to death. That's all you can do because you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to get yourself all keyed up and stressed out for an imbecile like him. He ain't stressed in any way. He's dumb. He doesn't re he doesn't see for what we see. You know, we're trying to tell him something and he's just not a computer. He's just not understanding. He thinks he's in the clear or he's in the right when he's not. And we're trying to tell him he's not, but he's so dumb to see it. You know, these are what you call ignorant people. People that think they know it all when they don't know half half their ass. See me, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm the type, see me, see me, if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. And if I'm right, I'll admit it. But people, if they're those type of people, they'll never admit they're wrong. You know? That's what you also call sick people too. Mentally sick people that always think people are after them or people are trying to belittle them or who knows what they think. And there's a lot of people like that. We're trying to tell somebody a certain thing and they're just not grasping it. And then what do they think in their sick minds that we're picking on them? When really that's not the case. We're just trying to, you know, enlighten them if that makes any sense. But they're just too... <laughs> to realize it. In other words, stupid. <laughs>
He said, that's why I just learned to accept it and just say, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. You just can't change stupid people. You can't fix stupid. I always say this in a lot of videos I make. You can't fix stupid, so you got to just unfortunately accept it. Even though I don't want to accept it, but you have no choice. Because you're just going to get yourself all keyed up and stressed out for a simpleton like that person. He ain't going to feel all keyed up or stressed because he's too stupid. You, you're so smart and aware, you're going to feel all the stress and shit, you know? That's probably why I have bad anxiety too, because I'm so awoke and I see for what it all is and it bothers me. And there's things, I guess, that just get me stressed out. And sometimes I feel like I get anxiety for no reason. Like sometimes I get symptoms for absolutely no reason. Sometimes there is a reason, like maybe if there's a certain event happening, whatever it is, I'll get nervous, which, you know, that I know sometimes happens. Whereas sometimes it's just nothing really going on and I still get it. And in this times I'm fine. It's weird. But I guess it's all because I'm just aware. Who knows? But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. And, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't please everyone. You know, they say that, you know, no matter what videos I make, you're always going to get an ignorant person here that'll say what he thinks or vice versa. She thinks he, he, she may know or not know, but, you know, you just can't, you can't get through with everyone. And I accept that. I have no choice to. There's going to be people here that disagree with what I say. There's going to be people here that agree with what I say to each their own. And I always say this, if somebody disagrees, I'm not the type that's going to just remove a person's comment because they disagree. I only possibly re um, remove your comment is if you say hurtful things. Like if you're, let's say, being nasty to someone else in the chat or me or whoever, then yeah, then most likely I will get rid of it. But if, you know, we're all speaking about our minds, what we feel in our minds, and I accept that. So that's why I don't remove comments. However, I will bring this up. A lot of people will be like, I already know what I'm about to say. Here he goes again. But, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people that come across the channel that is not aware of, of this. So this is why from time to time, I like to always say this. YouTube always deletes people's comments for whatever apparent reason. Some people don't even say anything inappropriate or not, and they still get deleted. A lot of times that reflects that I'm doing that to them when it's not. People think, like they'll say a lot of times, why do you keep deleting my comments? And I say a million times, I at least try to say, it's not me doing it, it's YouTube. It's just some kind of glitch or something. You know? And in this times where people's comments aren't deleted, but they're hidden, where I can't see them, I have to sometimes sign off, actually like sign off this account and go on the, the, the video itself to look at the comments to possibly see that comment. And I can't even reply or heart that comment because now here I am signing back into my account to try to do that. And then the comments nowhere to be seen. It's like it's gone. It's like invisible. I can only see it signed off. But now I'm signed back in to try to reply to the person or give the person a love heart. And I can't because once I'm signed back in, the comment's gone. So that's another thing that YouTube seems to do a lot. Either hide comments or literally actually delete comments. They're known for both. <laughs> This is something I got to truly try and say at the end of every video because, you know, there's a lot of new people here that come across the channel and I'm happy for you people. I hope you guys enjoy the channel, but I just want you all to know that if this type of stuff happens to your comments, please know, note that it's not me doing so. You know, it's not me deleting it. It's YouTube. Well, I don't want anyone here thinking I'm ignoring you because that's not the case either. Sometimes I just don't see it. And sometimes it, it gets deleted. It's crazy. But uh, anyway, I'm going to call it a day there, guys. Love you all, man. Take it easy. And, in all, and to all you ignorant people, get your head out of your ass and stop telling us to get our heads out of our ass. Our heads are way out of our ass. <laughs> anyway, peace out. Love you all, guys. Take it easy.